Okay, part three to this video. So I'm just basically picking up where I left off here. And I this part was transparent where my finger is. This is all transparent. And this part was blue and white. And now what I'm doing is I'm covering that uh, whole canvas. I'm covering this transparent area. And I'm just going to make the canvas now all just this kind of blue and white. Um, I do, when I'm using water, I like using, when I'm painting oceans or rivers, I like using um, transparency, so I don't add that much white to it. It makes it a little bit more opaque. And if I do add white, I do it as a wash again. So what does that mean? Again, just adding more water. And that usually gives me the feel that I want for my water so I don't make it too opaque and I lose the transparency. So now I have my uh, blue and white canvas that looks good. I could do another layer if I wanted to. I didn't use a lot of paint. There's no spots on the canvas um, and all of the canvas is covered. I'm pushing my brush now into the canvas to cover all of those um, spots to make sure it is pretty uh, clean. And as you can see, it looks great. Um, I feel really positive about the way that it looks, right? And you can achieve those same results on your canvas. So try it, try it in those steps, and then you get this. Okay, so the next step that you wanna do is you want to cover the canvas, but you wanna to try to make some clouds. So I'm gonna show you some easy, simple tips to make clouds, and I'm going to um, change my brush okay and in order to change my brush I'm going to show you the brush that is the best for using clouds and the brush that I use is usually a round brush or if you have I'm going to show you the difference because if you look at these brushes let me put it against here if you look at these brushes you'll see you see how that's a little bit more frayed and it's thicker you see how thick that is it's not so thin you know, it's an old brush, so I have my old brushes that I use for that. If you don't, you can use a square brush or a round brush. I prefer a brush that looks round. And what you're going to do is you're going to dip your, your brush into your white paint, and you're only going to saturate the ends. You see how I saturated the ends? Not the whole brush. And then you're going to dab it off. You're going to dab it off on that paper until your brush is kind of at the end here and it looks like that. You're just going to dab it off just night, night, nicely. You don't have to fight with the palette. You're just going to dab it off, you see, where you're taking off that extra paint. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and I'm just going to make a cloud here and I'm going to show you something. And I'm just kind of dabbing very lightly on the canvas. I'm not really applying that much pressure. And because the canvas is blue underneath, what ends up happening, and it's a, it's a little bit wet, so it's semi-wet. What it's doing is it's picking up some of that blue area uh, on the clouds, like if the clouds had a little bit of blue underneath, but you still see some white. And this is a different type of cloud. So I'm gonna put it really close so you can see what I did here. Okay, put it really close. And then if you put it far away. And you don't want to have clouds that are like, um, how can I say, that are just in a line. You kind of want to make them go out of their shape a little bit. You can have, you know, you can make it thicker by picking up some more white paint and dabbing on top. You can have like lots of variations. So play with your brush. Pray with how you uh, feel comfortable with the brush and practice. These are the first kind of clouds you really want to practice. And they're just these like, kind of puffy white clouds. Again, don't have this like perfect circle. That doesn't even really happen in the sky. Okay, and then I'm going to put it a little closer. You see that? Okay. Now I want to show you something. If you wanted to drag those edges out of the cloud and you didn't want them um, to be um, so straight, you could use something like a fan brush and I'm using it dry, and I'm, I'm, it's a dry, in other words, there's no water on this brush, 
and what I'm doing is I'm kind of pushing a little bit onto the to the canvas and I'm pushing it out and I show you how I can change this cloud just by doing that okay and it got a little bit as you see a little bit lighter there that's maybe a cloud that's far away in the sky it has that light kind of appearance